Congratulations on your victory this evening. Obviously, it was a very fantastic fight. Uh, what did you think about your performance in there this evening? You know, this camp, I work a lot of patience. You know, I knew, I knew, I knew how to very experienced. But I was not also so tough, but to have a lot of experience. And I touched her, I saw she's field punch, but you know, she's moving around, moving a lot. And I'm really happy, you know, I work a lot of patience and I do the right thing, we work with my team. And you work with a lot of things too, but the takedowns too, but I feel like she's sweeping, I cannot touch her because it's sweat. But I, I think we did an amazing fight. I'm really happy because I know if we do a great fight, I have to have a good opponent, you know, and she did it very well. You talked about being patient. Um, the rounds that she won were the first two rounds. I'm just curious, as the fight was playing, I mean, did you know I, I've got to pace myself and go five rounds, you know, or, or do you credit that to her and, and what she was doing? You know, I really train five, I really train for fight five rounds. Everybody have a question. I don't know if she's going to have a, a cardio for this. You know, I I'm, 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 I can do 10. You know, I feel very great, great in there. And I have a very nice cut weight. I don't have a tough time. And I'm really happy with my team. We did an amazing job. And, you know, I'm, I was happy for five rounds. All my team say, Chris, you have five rounds to finish the fight. You don't need rush. You have to see the opportunity. We're not used to seeing you bleed. We're not used to seeing you busted up a little bit. I, I wonder, you know, a fight like this, do you feel it's almost a good thing for you to be pushed and to be tested and for people to see this side of you? You know, when I saw, uh, first time, first time my, 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 my nose bleed. And then in the training, I training with hard guys. And then when I see that, I say, well, uh, let's keep going. And uh, I really enjoy the time. We were training really hard, and I'm really happy to have the, this fight, like, great. And last thing for me, I know you want to enjoy your win tonight, but we always want to know what's next for champions. Uh, it sounded like you said Megan Anderson in Australia is the fight that you want. A, are you suggesting you could fight in Perth in six weeks? Is that the Australia card you're talking about? And B, also, we're hearing about Amanda Nunes, that she wants to challenge you. So if that's the case, would you prefer that fight? You know, I always say I don't know to like fight somebody Brazilian because of the, but, you know, if she want to fight me, I fight anybody who done what I put in front of me. You know, I'm a fighter, and I have to fight who put in me. But I'm saying about Megan Anderson because she's 145 pounds, and they, I would like my, my division growing. You know, if we grow, you need to invest. You need to put the girls 145. And I think she's in the line for fight for the belt, and because of that. I don't know, my hand really hurts now because her head, the heart, very, very hard. And then, I don't know, in six weeks, but you know what, a little bit. Hey, Cyborg over here, congratulations to your left. Yes. Um, so two of the judges gave her the first two rounds, meaning on both of their scorecards, it was even going into the fifth. Does that surprise you? I know, I, I was, when they tell the number that I really don't hear, but I, I need to have to watch the fights, you know, for make sure what happened. But I know she, maybe she touched me more, more me, but no damage, you know, no damage. I, can, I will see her face, her eye closing, you know, I saw her face, but I have to watch the fight again for make sure if then right or not. Would you say this was the most competitive fight of your career? Uh, I think really tough, you know, I think it is more, I think the, fir the first, ro first fight I did five rounds. Yeah. With her, you know, and I think she's tough. But she did amazing, and yes. Would you say this is the greatest win of your career? Uh, I don't know. I think I have a long time yet yeah, still. I'm not retired after yet. Maybe I have three two more years and still more fights. Do you think this cements you as the greatest female fighter of all time? Me? Yeah. Uh, I never think like that. You know, I leave my fans think about that. I just have to keep training, keep learning, because the girls are gonna like beat me, and I have to be ready. And you mentioned Megan. Obviously, she's had some problems fighting. Are you privy to any information? Are you aware? Is she able to come back? Is there anything you could tell I, us? I don't know. I don't know. But it's a long time she has issues. Maybe she's be wet an hour. I don't know. OK. And uh, last one for me. Um, your weight cut seemed to go very well. Your team said it went very well. What was the difference this time? I don't know. I just trained with the same I'm training for make 140. You know, I was training hard for make 140. I just said, man, let's train like make more for like make more fight because I knew maybe this fight is gonna be five rounds, and I don't have any problem to cut weight and be no bit you know don't feel great there. And then I was just training the same I training for make 140, and I have no have hard cut. Nice. Hi, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you. I wonder how much you reflected on the fact that all you've been through, especially with the UFC, the fact that here you are on one of the bigger shows of the year, you're the main event on the pay-per-view on the New Year's Eve show, which historically is big. Did that mean a little bit to you, and, and did you soak in the crowd as you walked out? 
Um, the one thing I, I think just shows God really all loyalty. You know, everything has come through in UFC. I uh, really just came, continue training, continue doing my job in other events. And I knew the opportunity was going to come and they're going to be ready. And they're going to be one day here. And then I'm really thankful and, you know, for the, the and everything that happened in my career, I think it helped me be a better fighter, a better, better person, you know, and this is changing, you know, and then I think I'm in the right time here and then everything happened, make me just growing. And to follow on that a little bit, I mean, much of your career, people said you were just so much bigger than stronger than everybody else that you blew them away with your physical strength. But tonight you won the fight with your technical skills. Does that mean more to you than just going in there and blasting somebody with the right hand and seeing them fall down? The fact that now people are going to acknowledge you for the skills that you have as opposed to just your strength? You know, I never think to be a fighter. Um, I, I, I like a lot of sports before 12 years old. I think God gave me a gift to the one heart, hero heart like to fight and then for be better at everything I'm because I'm training you know I'm getting better because I train really hard it's not just because of gift but I train really hard and I think today tonight I just show why I'm getting work on you know I'm better in the Holly because she's giving me challenge more challenge because all most girls I punch and you finish the fight and I cannot show too much but I really train hard I train every day everybody think when my camp think, tell me Chris stop training you're gonna be over training and because I really want getting better every time I fight. And then not to be a downer, but I just want to ask you, like, you know, you win the biggest fight of your career, perhaps, and you're sitting here and you don't know if there's anybody that you could fight in your division. Is that, is that difficult to take to sit here and go, well, if Megan's problems, whatever they are, don't get straightened out, that you may have no opponent to fight at all? Um, I, I, th I think I think we're going to find someone from the fight for sure, and then I just have to keep training. Oh and be, be ready, you know, for the next one. And then this is happening a long time in my career too. I was happy that I, two years I had no fighting because no opponent in the beginning of my career and just have to keep training, but for sure have a gro girls coming and maybe come from boxing, come from other, other, other organizations for FC. For sure they're gonna want to be in big platform. Thank you. Chris, é, em, alguns momentos, em alguns momentos dessa luta, a gente viu você tentando algumas quedas e ela defendeu muito bem. Uh, te surpreendeu a força dela, principalmente no clinch? Eu vi que ela te reverteu algumas vezes no clinch. Te surpreendeu a força física dela? Eu acho que, na verdade, eu senti que ela estava mais forte assim na, na, no clinch, mas, na verdade, eu achava que ela não estava trabalhando. Ela queria só me segurar ali no, 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 no cage, sabe? No octágono. Ela estava só querendo me segurar. Eu não via que ela queria, que dar, queria fazer nada. Só parar a luta para eu não encostar nela. É, mas as quedas faziam parte da sua estratégia? Não, primeiro, a gente mas... treinou, a gente treinou, tava, se ela quer dar, é, me chutar, se trabalhar a queda. Eu tenho um resto também, eu gosto de quedar, mas eu senti que quando ia quedar ela estava muito, estava lisa, estava muito lisa. Eu não queria cair por baixo, tentar a queda, cair por baixo, eu que manter em pé. Certo, mas duas perguntas bem rápidas. Uma, é, existe toda essa questão da dificuldade de se construir a divisão 4-5. É, até pelo fato como você venceu seus oponentes de forma muito rápida. Você acha que uma luta como essa de cinco rounds pode facilitar, é, pode favorecer que outras meninas tentem, de repente, oh, é possível fazer cinco rounds com a Cibori? Não, acredito que sim, acredito que pode abrir abrir oportunidade de outras meninas querendo lutar, né? Falar, não, posso lutar, posso vencer ela. Fico feliz, porque vou ter adversário para lutar e vou continuar treinando. Perfeito. Minha última pergunta, então, é sobre o sangramento no seu nariz. Foi, de fato, a primeira vez? Que você, em, foi a primeira luta? vez, foi a primeira vez. Isso chegou a te atrapalhar? Como não, foi o não, sentimento? eu achei que era uma água. Eu toquei, era água, era sangue, mas não, não, eu continuei, continuei. Hi, Chris. Congratulations uh, on your win tonight. Um, the first thing I want to ask you about is Amanda Nunes. Would you be open uh, to fighting her, you know, either at a catch weight of 140 or perhaps at 145 for your belt? No, just 145. No anymore. 140. I mean, I feel great. 145. This is my my division. I fight for, and then just 145. But you're open to fighting Amanda, yeah? Yeah, I open to fight anybody. And in regards to defending your belt and, you know, the next time you fight for the UFC, would you perhaps like to headline a pay-per-view in Brazil? They go to Brazil a few times a year. I would like to go to Brazil. I think all fans are going to love and then the fans the full number one, you know, after the United States love the UFC and it'll be amazing. And my final question, Zoo for Boxing, we're told, is, is a real thing. It's coming and, you know, Dana White wants to get into the, the boxing business. 
um, you know, if it's a bit of a challenge to find your fight in MMA, would you be interested in fighting uh, in a boxing match for Zufa Boxing? You know, I really like it. I really like boxing. I train really hard with Jason Perillo, and I do a lot of, lot of sparring with the guys from the gym in just boxing. And if you have the opportunity, Dan White would like to give this opportunity for me, same he did with McGregor. Why not? You know, I'm here for challenges, and I, I love to fight. And then I never fight boxing before, and maybe this is going to be a big, cha big challenge. Maybe I have to wait for the next, uh, next opponent to 145. Maybe they can Fox. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Bye. Good night, guys. Happy New Year.